Thank you very much. Good morning, Krithika. You can start off with the proceedings of the day as the forum is available. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This being the first annual general meeting of the company after the initial public offer and the listing of equity shares on BSC and NSC, I welcome all the public shareholders and look forward to your faith and support in the good times to come. In view of the guidelines from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and SEBI permitting companies to hold their annual general meeting AGM through video conferences and other audio visual means. The 31st annual general meeting of the company is being conducted through video conference to avoid the physical presence of members at a common venue. The annual report, <clears throat> excuse me, has been sent to all the members holding shares in dematerialized uh, mode or in physical mode as required by law. The requisite quorum, which is 30 members is present and therefore, I now call the meeting to order. The register of directors and key management personnel and their shareholding, the register of contracts or arrangements in which the directors are interested, and such other documents as mentioned in the notice of convening this meeting will be available for inspection by members. Members may please write to company.secretary at signdlm.com for any further information in this regard. <coughs> Excuse me. As mentioned in the notice, convening the meeting, since the meeting is being held electronically, the proxy-related procedures have been dispensed with, which is in line with the regulatory requirements. Let me now introduce the directors, auditors, and senior executives of the company attending the meeting through video conference from their respective locations. The directors, company officials, and auditors may please raise their hand or say namaste to indicate their presence while their names are being called out by me. We have the following directors participating in the meeting. Dr. Bivya Mohan Reddy, non-executive director, joining us from Hyderabad. Mr. Rajendra Velugupudi, managing director, joining us from Hyderabad. Mr. Jahangir Ardeshar, chairman of the audit committee, joining us from Pune. Ms. Vanita Datla, Chairman of the Stakeholder Relations Committee, joining us from Hyderabad. Dr. Madan Pilutla, Chairman of the Nomination and Remuneration Committee, joining us from Hyderabad. And I am Krishna Bodhanapu, the Chairman of Science DLM, also joining from Hyderabad. Dr. Ajay Kumar and Mr. Muralida Yadama, Independent Directors, who could not join the meeting, have conveyed their best regards to the shareholders. We also have the following senior executives joining us. Mr. Anthony Malbert Montalbano, the Chief Executive Officer of Sign DLM. Mr. Srinivas Kulkarni, the CFO. Mr. Kaushal Jadia, the CTO. Dr. P. N. S. V. Narsimham, President, Corporate, uh, President and Head of Corporate Functions for Scient Limited. Ms. Kritika S., Company Secretary. And we also have various representatives from the Business, Operations, Finance, Accounting, Investor Relations, and Company Secretarial teams here with us from Sign DLM today. Our statutory auditors, MS SR Bartleyboy and Associates LLP, Chartered Accountants, are represented by their partner, Mr. Shankar Srinivasan, joining us from Hyderabad. Mr. Manish Kumar of MS MKS and Associates, company secretaries, secretarial auditor, as well as scrutineer for the e-voting process has also joined the meeting from Hyderabad. 
your company by virtue of being a listed company is required to provide e-voting facility to its shareholders voting by a show of hands is no longer permitted the company has engaged the services of ms kfin technologies limited to provide the facility of remote e-voting to all its members to cast their votes on all businesses contained in the notice votings voting sorry will be in proportion to the shares held by the members as of the cutout date this be 21st june 2024 in our case in line with regulatory requirements remote e voting facility on kfins e voting platform has been provided to the members of the company for 3 days starting from 25th june 2024 at 9 am ist and ended on 27 june 2024 at 5 pm ist this module was disabled for voting by kfin thereafter as mentioned in the notice convening the meeting for all those members who did not avail the e voting facility the company is pleased to provide the facility to cast their votes electronically during the agm on all the proposed resolution through kfins insta poll mechanism members can avail this facility and cast their votes on the resolutions proposed in the notice let me reiterate that this facility is available to those members who have not cast their votes through the re remote re e voting facility provided earlier by the company if a member has already voted in the remote e voting he or she will not be able to cast their vote again through insta poll the board has appointed mr manish kumar of ms mks and associates company secretaries for scrutinizing the e voting process in a fair and transparent manner once all of you have cast your votes the votes will be counted by mr manish kumar the scrutineer he will then unblock the results of the remote e voting which will then be consolidated with the results of the voting done during today's meeting the voting results according with the scrutineer's report will be communicated to the stock exchanges and the same will be placed on record on the website of the company and the e voting platform of kfin in accordance with applicable regulations now may i take a moment to sum up today's schedule for the meeting after the conclusion of my speech those of who who you those of who who have registered as a speaker at the meeting will be invited by the moderator considering the time of all of those attending the meeting we request the speakers the shareholders to be brief and restrict their comments to matters relevant to the business contained in the agm notice after this questions raised by the speakers the shareholders will be answered after the queries have been answered the meeting will be concluded the insta poll facility will be open right through the meeting and will be open for 30 minutes after the conclusion of the meeting as well now we will proceed with the business of the meeting firstly i want to thank all of you for taking the time to be with us this morning as i previously mentioned this is a very significant moment for us and a significant milestone in the history of science dlm this is the first agm that we are holding as a publicly listed company uh, after our share started trading on the mumbai and the national stock exchanges i firstly want to thank all of you for the trust you have demonstrated in the organization and in the company and want to assure you that we are working hard both on the uh, both on the business side but also how we run operations in line with our commitment to the to to the values that we have articulated as first and first standing for fairness integrity respect sincerity and transparency i want to assure you that the the business holds ourselves to the highest standards of ethical processes and corporate governance in line to what we've been what we've come to be known in science for lastly we're also putting a lot of effort on developing a robust culture which we articulate as the agile culture to ensure that everybody understands our culture and behaves and acts in line with our culture which encourages a growth growth mindset and inclusivity among associates on the soft side we're very focused to make sure that we uphold ourselves to the same level of governance and the same level of um values that scientists is known for on the numbers 
as you know, we had a very robust IPO, and I want to thank all of you for your support in enabling this to happen, which, is, which was about a year ago this time. The financial results have been robust. Revenues reached INR 11919 million, which is rupees 1,191 crores, which is a significant 43% year-on-year growth. The IPO was very successful, like I said, about a year ago in July 2023, which demonstrated the confidence the market has, not, not just specifically on Sci and DLM, but also on the electronic manufacturing uh, uh, services market. The strategic use of IPO funds has been to blow uh, has been to enhance our working capital to support expansion plans. As you are aware, when we're growing 42%, the business needs a significant amount of capital. And I am grateful that we have now have access to this capital to further enhance this, this growth. We've also expanded our client base significantly through a number of deals in the aerospace and defense sector and the medical and industrial sectors. Our competitive edge, which is our ability to design and our ability to manufacture, safety critical, low volume, high complex, time, sense, time critical electronic subsystems and sub assemblies has been a big differentiator. And if I may also highlight that I spent a lot of time earlier this week and last week in Europe meeting with a number of clients and potential clients who are very, very impressed with the capabilities that we have built. And we see significant growth further uh, in this journey. We continue to focus on operational enhancements and capability expansion. We've put in a number of expansions or number of investments, sorry, to expand the capability that is available and the capacity that is available to address our clients. We have expanded our precision manufacturing capability, which has now been tripled in terms of what we can do for highly precisioned machined components, primarily in our Bangalore facility. We also have expanded our Mysuru operations. We've added one new factory, and we see already see a line of sight for using the capacity that we have created. As you know, there are two imperatives that are also ahead of us. One, on the digital transformation and the use of technology. The second is, of course, sustainability. If I may first address the, 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 what we're doing for the, for, to, to enhance our operations through digital and other technologies. The factory digitization process has started, and many, many of the manual processes that were used in the factory are now automated. This is important because, like I mentioned earlier, we work in a number of, elect uh, in a number of industries which are driven, driven by safety. And when you have this degree of safety and focus on safety, you also need to make sure that the processes have traceability, people are able to understand the end-to-end, -end, or people are able to monitor end-to-end -end, um, uh, from component to the finished product, et cetera. And a number of processes that were manual in the past are now being digitized. Uh, we will have what we call the factory of the future in place during the course of this year. And what that is the case, I would also encourage our shareholders to please reach out to the company secretary to set up a tour of the factory. We've also improved um, traceability and we've improved data decision, data driven decision making in the factories. Again, a very important element of making sure that we're running efficient factories. We continue to spend a lot of time and energy and money on comprehensive training programs to equip our employees to deliver growth, to develop a growth mindset, and ultimately meet the objectives and commitments that we're making to all our shareholders. The second element on sustainability, as you know, the planet faces a significant challenge ahead of us in terms of what is happening with global warming, climate change, temperature raise, rises, and so on and so forth. I'm proud to say that both from supporting our clients through various um, products that we're designing and manufacturing, but importantly, to ensure that our operations are following sustainability principles, which include green manufacturing, a lot of power from um, renewables, uh, proper utilization of natural resources that consume water, something that we place a very high priority. And I'm also very proud that we continue to, or our 
our customers, sorry, continue to see this as a differentiator and our good sustainability corporate government practices, corporate governance practices, sorry, are actually leading to good new business uh, for us. We also, as you know, have been very committed to CSR or our corporate social responsibility. This is something in, in the parent and science we are very well known for, have been recognized, and we have brought in the same principles and practices to our DLM operations. We are doing a number of initiatives on empowering rural women, fostering innovation, especially low-cost infant innovation, and of course, continue to serve the educational needs of the communities that we operate in. If I may look ahead a little bit and um, uh, provide an outlook on our um, uh, year ahead, we believe that we're very well positioned to capitalize on the growth opportunities that are positioning ourselves. Uh, that, that are presenting themselves. The diversification, innovation, and operational excellence for sustainable growth is what we will focus on. We believe that grow, growing just this year or this quarter is not necessarily the focus, but building a sustainable operation that will thrive into the future, into many, many years to come, is our focus. And that's what we are investing and building for. The sectors that we focus, including aerospace and defense, but also an increased focus on industrial, medical, and automotive are something that will bode well for us in the future. As you know, the macro trends, including the, the, the use of chips and electronics, in, uh, the globalization and the uh, global de-risking that companies are looking at, the emergence of India as a significant market, the need to design and manufacture, these are things that were the differentiators that we had articulated during the time of IPO. And I'm proud to say that today, more relevant than ever, customers are touring us, not just by saying, also because of the purchase orders that we're winning, that we have a unique and differentiated value proposition. Commitment to the future is something that we take very seriously because like I said, we want to build a business that is sustainable for, for, the, for, for a very, very long time. Therefore, a few things we focus on are options, including continued improvements in and centricity to deliver value, to understand needs, to understand client problems, and therefore deliver solutions to these clients that solve the problem. I want to say we have a dedicated and committed team that is fantastic, not just in their commitment to our but most importantly in each other. Electronic manufacturing is a complex business that involves a very complicated supply chain, starting from design to procurement to manufacturing to, to logistics. And we have a very, very dedicated team that really day in and day out does their best to the commitments that we make to the, the, to the future. And therefore, I'm quite confident that we have created an inclusive and empowering environment for all stakeholders, an environment that will let them thrive and that will let them deliver the best for the business. In closing, I first want to express my gratitude to all the associates or the employees of the company for their unwavering support. It is their dedication and their commitment that has led to the success that we have seen in the last 12 months and I am confident and I am committed that we will continue to see this success for many, many years to come because of the commitment, the dedication, the hard work that our associates put in day to day in and day out. I am optimistic for, great, for achieving greater milestones in the coming years and I'm grateful and thankful for all your support and the faith that you have shown in Science DLM. Thank you very much. With this, we will move on to the next uh, part of the uh, agenda, which is the uh, AGM resolutions. Ladies and gentlemen, the notice dated 23rd April 2024, convening this meeting, along with a copy of the annual report for the financial year ended 31st March 2024, has already been circulated. And with your permission, I shall take the same as read. The auditor's report on the financial statements of the company does not have any qualifications or observations or comments on the financial transactions 
or matters as having any adverse effect on the functioning of the company. Accordingly, the auditor's report is not required to be read out at this meeting. If I may now um, um, read out the um, notices for the AGM. The first one is the adoption of audited standalone and consolidated financial statements for the financial year ended 31st March 2024, together with the reports of the board of directors and the auditors thereon. The appointment of Mr. Rajendra Velagapudi as a director who retires by rotation and offers himself for reappointment. The appointment of Dr. BBR Mohan Reddy as a director who retires by rotation and offers himself for reappointment. Reappointment of MS SR Bartleyboy and Associates LLP Chartered Accountants as statutory auditors for a continuous period of five years until the conclusion of the 38th AGM to be held in 2029. Ratification of the remuneration payable to MS GA Associates, cost auditors. Approval under section 186 for investments, loans, and corporate guarantees for subsidiaries. A few shareholders have registered themselves as a speaker for raising queries and questions at this meeting. We have not received any queries in KFIN's platform. I will now request the moderator to, to facilitate shareholders to speak and raise any questions regarding the accounts and the operations of the company during the year 2023-24. In the interest of time and with a view to give adequate opportunity to all, I request members to be judicious in time and restrict the same to 90 seconds um, time. We will hear all the queries first, after which I will be pleased to give my responses to your queries in a consolidated manner. Uh, moderator, may I hand it over to you to facilitate the Q&A, please. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Uh, may I call upon Mr. Kamal Kishore Jawar, our first speaker, to kindly unmute himself. Hello, Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Our input is 1998. Bibi Mohan Nadu Sahib. Bibi Mohan Nadu Sahib. The young generation Kamal ji, you are on the mobile. Yes, okay. Please move a little because your voice is cut-cut. Please move a little bit. Okay, now we are coming. So, our Manita Delta Medum, who is the director of the Finance Anjani Portland, Vishaka Indices, and another director of the Vishaka Indices. Sir, आज अपना first IPO है। जब जून जुलाई में जब आपका IPO आया, जब मैं application भरा, मुझे allotment नहीं हुआ। तो मैं market में sir purchase करा। जब listing होते कि purchase करा, purchase करा। Today is my holding 1700 share above. I am the small investor. Already मैं चुका हूँ। और sir आपना जो chairman इसी ने जो आपको इतना confidence है, जैसा sign आपका कंपनी इतने लॉन्ग रेसर के बाद टू रुपीस पेड़ अप शेयर अभी 2000 के आसपास है आज अपना शेयर साइन डीएलएम 10 रुपीस पेड़ अप है हमारों को फुल कॉम्पिटेंस है फ्यूचर इज़ द वेरी ब्राइट वेरी फ्राइड एस्टरडे जी बिजनेस एनालिस्ट इज़ द बाइंग इज़ द साइन डीएलएम और उन्होंने बताया 2,200 करोड़ उसका आर्डर भी है ये वर्ल्ड प्रोफ़ाइल में शेयर रखना बहुत जरूरी है आगे आपको अच्छा रिटर्न मिलेगा आपकी हार्ड और आपकी मेहनत जो कंपनी में इन्वेस्टमेंट करता है सर फुल कॉम्पिटेंस अच्छा मिलेगा तो सर मैं एक बात पूछना चाहता हूँ 2024-25 में अपना रेन्यू में कितना हो सकता है और उसके बारे में प्रॉफिट कितना आ सकता है अब किसी को अपने को डिलीवर नहीं मिला कोई साहब शेयर बेस अच्छा डबल होगा इसमें अच्छा जा अगर नेक्स्ट 2024-25 में अच्छा फर्स्ट क्वार्टर सेकंड अच्छा आया तो अपना कंपनी टेक रिकॉर्ड में इंटरेस्ट डिलीवर दीजिए तो बहुत अच्छा आएगा एक कंपनी में और इस्माल इन्वेस्टर को एक अच्छा मिल जाएगा इतना ऑर्डर का होल्डिंग है उनको अच्छा डिलीवर मिलेगा मैं ज़्यादा कुछ बोलना चाहूँगा केफिन का वर्क सर्विस है कि जब आपका स्पीकर रेशन का डेट आता है हम 
लोग आप बोलते हैं पहले नंबर कैसा आ गया तो जो भी बोलता है आज कंप्यूटर में कोई भी चुकता है कब फिट करे सब टेबिंग के साथ आ जाता है ऐसे भी कंप्लेन कैफिन में आ चुके हैं कैफिन वाले एक इन्वेस्टर को बोलिए आके चेक कर लो जो नंबर पहला फिट करा अगर मैं बाद में स्पीकर करा तो मेरा नंबर भी बाद में आएगा और दशहरा दीपावली सब सबको बधाई देता हूँ और हमारे बीवी मोहन रेड्डी साहब जो आज एज में भी एक्टिव है काम देखते हैं मैं इसमें फोटो बहुत बड़ा खुश होगा हूँ सब बीवी मोहन को नमस्कार और सर इसी तरह वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस रखी है उसके पहले दो पोस्ट भी है अजंता मैं उसको पूरा वोटिंग कर चुका हूँ और भी टूडे इज होल्डिंग वन टीन हंड्रेड ऑलरेडी वोटिंग कर चुका हूँ और उसको आ जाएंगे तो मैं और पचूंगा थैंक यू सर Thank you, Mr. Kamal. Uh, may I request the individuals who are using the mobile phone to kindly check their data connectivity because we are getting disturbances in the sound. मेरी विनती है उन लोगों से जो मोबाइल से ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं कि कृपया वो किसी ऐसी जगह पे जाएं जहाँ पे data connectivity अच्छी है ताकि उनकी आवाज अच्छे से आए. May I call upon our next speaker, Mr. Shikant Jawar from Hyderabad. Mr. Shikant, you can unmute yourself. Sir, मेरा आवाज आ रहा है सर. जी, बिल्कुल. थैंक यू मॉन्टेर बी आर सर आप अपना कभी भी इंट्रोडक्शन नहीं कराते क्योंकि दूसरे कैफिनटिक में जैसा प्रवीण सर और सब अपना इंट्रोडक्शन करके बोलते हैं तो आपका भी थोड़ा इंट्रोडक्शन करिए और सर सबसे पहले अपना आई पी ओ बहुत बड़ा सक्सेसफुल हुआ और बहुत खुशी की बात है और साथ में हमारे फाउंडर बी वी मोहन रेड्डी साहब को भी नमस्ते करता हूँ और ऑल डायरेक्टर्स को भी नमस्ते और साथ में हमारे इंडिपेंडेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर वनीता मैडम जो विशाखा से हम उनको जानते हैं उनको भी नमस्ते करता हूं सर और सर सबसे पहला जो अपना बिजनेस पूरा साउथ में फेमस है जैसा हैदराबाद बेंगलोर और मैसूर और एनी एक्विजिशन कई जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट और वेस्ट में कुछ लैंड एक्विजिशन करके वहां पे भी कुछ बिजनेस एक्सपेंशन करने का कुछ है थोड़ा बताइए और सर अपने को अवार्ड के लिए भी कंग्रेचुलेशन फॉर हनीवेल से और कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट से हमारे अवार्ड मिला है उसके लिए भी बहुत बहुत खुशी की बात है सर मेरा एक क्वेश्चन ये है पेज नंबर 23 24 में ऑल डायरेक्टर्स एचआर सबके फोटो है मगर सीएस कंपनी सेक्रेटरी की फोटो नहीं है इसमें इसका रीजन सर वो भी तो अपना एक साइन डीएलएम का एक मेंबर है मेंबर मैडम है तो फोटो तो होना चाहिए ना सर सीएफओ की जब फोटो है तो सीएस का भी उतना ही हार्ड वर्क रहता है तो उसका भी फोटो लेना चाहिए ना सर और बीवी मोहन रेड्डी साहब की तो बहुत छोटी असल तो फाउंडर साहब की फोटो फर्स्ट पेज पे बड़ी रहना चाहिए बहुत हमारे को भी बहुत अच्छी खुशी है और सर अपना पेज नंबर सॉरी अपना रेजुलेशन नंबर सिक्स जो बोरिंग का है इन्वेस्टमेंट उसके बारे में थोड़ा जानकारी दीजिएगा सर और आपके चेयरमैन में बहुत कुछ बताया गया है और इसी तरह वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग रखिए अगर अपना क्यू और क्यू टू में अगर अपना प्रॉफिट अच्छा है जैसा अर्ली शेयर होल्डर ने बताया कि डिविडेंड ये साल नहीं है अगर Q1, Q2 में अपना प्रॉफिट अच्छा है तो इंट्रीम डिविडेंड का रखिएगा सर हम आपको जैसा प्रोमोटर होल्डिंग ज्यादा स्टेक है और छोटे इन्वेस्टर का है तो इसमें इंट्रीम डिविडेंड का रखिएगा सर और आते से दशहरे दीपावली की भी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं है सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मिस्टर श्रीकांत विल मूव ऑन टू आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मिस्टर रमेश मंगुलरी फ्रॉम हैदराबाद मिस्टर रमेश रिक्वेस्टेड टू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ प्लीज हेलो हम मैं ऑडिबल सर यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल सर सर रमेश मंगलू दिस स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सर सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल सर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट द मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप मैनेजमेंट फॉर एक्सेलेंट परफॉर्मेंस रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ ऑफ 30% ईयर ऑन ईयर एंड अ बेटर देन एक्सपेक्टेड मार्जिन्स आल्सो सर सो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड विल दिस ग्रोथ ऑफ Company will be sustainable in future. Also, I would like to know. And sir, the what is the order book stands as on today uh, in defence and aerospace sectors, verticals, and how much of it uh, uh, out of which company is expected to execute in the current financial? I would like to know. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We will move on to our next speaker, Mr. Suresh Chandra Jain. हेलो हाँ सर 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 आ रही है 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 
हमारे चेयरमैन सा मोहन राव मोहन मोहन राव सर भी है तो मुमकिन है सर मैं इस कंपनी का मैं बहुत पुराना शेयर होल्डर हूँ इन्फोटेक से मैं इस कंपनी से जुड़ा हुआ हूँ जुड़ा हुआ हूँ सर मुझे इस कंपनी के ऊपर पूरा भरोसा है और मुझे गर्व है कि इस कंपनी का मैं शेयर होल्डर हूँ सर और और सर मैं पहली मीटिंग है मैं मोतियों की माला से आप लोगों का स्वागत करना चाहता हूँ पर पर ऑनलाइन होने से मैं ऑनलाइन से कैसा स्वागत करूँ ये सोचते सोचते मैं रात गुजार चुका हूँ सर और कभी अगर वो हाईटेक के तरफ आया तो आपके मोतियों की माला क्योंकि इसके पहले भी मोहन राव साहब को मैंने मोतियों की माला से मैं स्वागत करा था और और सर आपने जो कंपनी का कंपनी पहली मीटिंग है इसलिए ज्यादा मैं कुछ बोलना नहीं चाहता हूँ बस भगवान से यही प्रार्थना करता हूँ आप दिन दो नहीं रात चौकनी तरक्की करते हुए आप आगे के तरफ बढ़े हमारा पूरा सहयोग इस कंपनी के साथ है सर मेरा तथा मेरे परिवार का पूरा सहयोग सहयोग आपके कंपनी के ऊपर है और भरोसा है और आपने जो बोलने का मौका दिया उसके लिए मैं धन्यवाद देते हुए मैं अपने विचारों को विराम देता हूँ पर आपका चेयरमैन सर स्पीच बहुत शानदार था सर कंपनी के रूप में कहा कि जानकारी हमें भी प्राप्त हुई है धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू सर वी विल मूव ऑन टू आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मिस्टर के भरत राज फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सर यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू काइंडली अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड स्पीक और पुट फोर्थ योर पर्सपेक्टिव सर या वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग चेयरमैन एंटर बोर्ड डायरेक्टर सर भरत राज अटेंडिंग फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वांट कंग्रेजेंट टू कंग्रेजुलेशंस फॉर वंडरफुल आईपीओ सर माय शेयर प्राइस बिकम डबल सर दिस इज ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय लीडर मिस्टर मोहन मिस्टर बीवी मोहन रेड्डी द विजनरी लीडर who created a company cnt and uh, and apart from that cnt uh, dlm because today this company also make a billion dollar company sir were wonderful sir i congratulated entire board of directors for wonderful performance and wonderful results sir sir there is no questions to raise sir we always support you or support all the resolution sir and uh, one more thing sir i want to notice that the company secretary is not accessible sir uh, agm is there uh, no, no, she never turned up to call us sir this is your number sir i am so and so is she she was introduced because cnt is a brand is with a systematic and uh, very professional company sir mr putti ravi they always call us they always uh, support us sir so i want uh, the young uh, company secretary always accessible to the uh, shareholder sir that is the only issue sir god bless you uh, mr chairman krishna once again take care sir we always with you thank you very much for giving this opportunity thank you sir we will move on to our next speaker mr ramesh shankar bolla Mr Ramesh Shankar Golla you are requested to kindly unmute yourself if you are available in the call we have not heard any input from Mr Ramesh Shankar Golla so we'll move on to our next speaker Ms Celestial Elizabeth Mascarenas from Mumbai Ms Mascarenas you are requested to kindly unmute yourself we have not received any inputs from Ms Celestial Elizabeth Mascarenas so we will move on to our next speaker Mr Ramesh sorry rajesh keval ram chenani mr rajesh keval ram chenani you are requested to kindly unmute yourself switch on your webcam if you desire to do so and put forth your perspective we have not received any input from mr rajesh keval ram chenani so we'll move on to our next speaker mr praful chawla from hyderabad mr praful if i'm audible would you request to unmute yourself sir hello hello sir mera aawaz aa rahi hai sir ha ji sir okay मैं वीडियो मिलाने की ट्राई करता हूं पर केफिन वाले ने कभी ड्रम डेमो नहीं बताया है जबकि दूसरे प्लेटफॉर्म वाले पहले डेमो ले लेते हैं और हमको सिखाते हैं केफिन वाले वैसा कुछ नहीं करते हैं सर चेयरमैन सर बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स मेरे साथी शोल्डर सक्सेसफुल आईपीओ और फर्स्ट एजीएम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रहता है पर कृष्णा सर को मैं एक बात बताना चाहता हूँ कि आपके फादर का जो आईपीओ आया था इम्पोर्टर्स एंटरप्राइज अभी का साइंट उन्हें बाईबैक लगाया था साथी ठोक के बोले थे आपको शेयर नहीं चाहिए तो वापस दे दो हमको ऐसा कभी इंडिया में कोई आईपीओ नहीं आया कि बाईबैक लगाया कि मेरा आईपीओ में पैसे लगाओ आपको नहीं समझ में आया तो वन ईयर के अंदर आप सो एंड सो पैसा सो एंड सो पैसा एवरी मंथ पैसे बढ़ते गए बढ़ते गए इस तरह करे थे 
तो नेक्स्ट फ्यूचर में भी आप और कुछ आईपीओ लेके आए तो इसमें भाई बैक जरूर लगाइए ताकि जो है आपका फादर ने सिस्टम चालू करे तो फिर आगे बढ़े सर अपना आईपीओ के बाद कंपनी अच्छी रही तो लेकिन मैं जानना ये चाहता हूँ कि आगे टू इयर्स कैसा रहेगा ज्यादातर कंपनी जो आईपीओ लेने लेके आना चाहती है वो कहते हैं कि थोड़ा बड़ा चढ़ा कर बता के प्रीमियम लेने की कोशिश करती है और आने वाले आईपीओ के बाद आने वाले दो साल थोड़ा वीक रहता है अच्छा नहीं रहता है तो इसके बारे में बताएंगे शेयर मार्केट में तो हमको अच्छा रिटर्न मिल रहा है वो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया में अभी बीजेपी बैठी है इसकी हम शुभकामना देंगे कि इसकी वजह से हमें लगता फिर अपोजिशन पार्टी का भी पैसा बढ़ते जा रहा है तो मैं इसलिए खुश हूँ सर अभी एक शेयर ने बताया उसका नाम फर्स्ट क्यों आता है तो केपिन के द्वारा मुझे ये चाहिए कि कौन सा शेयर स्पीकर ने कब रजिस्ट्रेशन किया फर्स्ट नंबर कौन आता था कौन आ सकता था या अपने सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ने फर्स्ट नंबर दे रहे या केपिन वाले दे रहे कंटिन्यू ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है टेन ए होती है ट्वेंटी ए होती है एक ही आदमी का स्पीकर नंबर वन नहीं आ सकता है पॉसिबल नहीं है कुछ तो प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है नौ बजकर एक सेकंड को भी करे तो दो सेकंड को करे तो आप इंक्वायरी कीजिए कैफिन वाला कुछ गलत करता है वही आदमी इसकी तारीफ करता है दूसरा कोई कैफिन की तारीफ नहीं करता है कैफिन ने नाम चेंज किया है ऑलरेडी तो नाम तो कारवी है कारवी कितने कितने स्कीम किए है वो तो बता दिया है तो इसकी जानकारी मुझे चाहिए कि सही में हो रहा है और मैं बहुत बहुत बी बी वी आर मोहन रेड्डी सर का धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि उम्र भी मेरे सामने बैठे है और वर्क कर रहे कंपनी को डायरेक्शन दे रहे और इसके डायरेक्शन से बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स एम्प्लॉय काम करते हैं और कंपनी आगे बढ़ाते हैं धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू मिस्टर प्रफुल चावड़ा जी वी मूव ऑन टू आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मिस साजिदा बेगम फ्रॉम हैदराबाद मिस साजिदा इफ यूर ऑडिबल My name is Abdul Ali. I am the husband of Saida Begum. It is a joint holder. Uh, first of all, good morning, everyone. In my account, some problem is here. I have purchased in my account, my wife account. It is issue to speak or I can speak. Uh, chairman sir, uh, Mr. Uh, Begum's. Sorry, Miss Begum's husband is asking if uh, he can speak about some issues that he has in his account. Is it permitted? Uh, yes, absolutely. We can. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, I am the shareholder of Sand also. I have seen the Monro sir in youngest. Now it is very white color of heads, sir. Since 15 years, I am attending this AGM in physical mode in client. I have seen everyone in physical, sir. Now I am since four years I am seeing only in the photos. So, ये कैसा दिख रहा है बोलते हो खाप दिख रहा है, कल्पना दिख रही है क्योंकि जब हम देखा जब जवान से अब देखा तो क्या कहने बुढ़ापा आ गया. तो सर, मैं ये चाह रहा था कि एक बार physical mode एक बार physical कर दीजिए सर. फिर एक बार देखना चाह रहा था मैं आपको इन फिजिकल में तो आ, मेरा मेरा मशवरा ये था कि सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट गुड है कि कंपनी सेक्रेटरी मीटिंग हैंडल करना था ना तो खाली चेयरमैन सारे बोल रहे कंपनी सेक्रेटरी कुछ भी नहीं बोल रहे कंपनी सेक्रेटरी को कुछ बोलने दीजिए ना फर्स्ट मीटिंग है इसलिए कुछ भी नहीं बोल रहा था मैं तो सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट गुड है ये फिनटेक भी गुड है अपनी कंपनी तो वेरी गुड है क्योंकि मैं इस साइड से देख के आ रहा हूँ जब शेयर वैल्यू क्या की था अब डबल टिबल हो गया मेरा शेयर मैं मैं ज्यादा कुछ बोलना नहीं चाह रहा हूँ अपने कंपनी के बारे में जब मोहन राव शायर है ना यहाँ पे तो कुछ बोलना नहीं चाह रहा हूँ बस ये हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट है मेरी कि एक बार फिजिकल मोड कर दीजिए उसके बाद फिर ऑनलाइन ही कर दीजिए टिल द एंड आई एम नॉट इन इशू बिकॉज मोहन राव सर को देखना चाह रहा था मैं एक बार जी यही मेरा रिक्वेस्ट है सर और थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर स्पीक इन दिस एजीएम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर वी विल मूव ऑन टू आवर लास्ट स्पीकर मिस्टर देवल विजय शाह फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद 
Mr. Deval, if I'm audible, would request you to kindly unmute yourself, switch on your webcam and put forth your perspective, please. Yes, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my question is, I have actually three questions. One question is with regards to storm technologies with, uh, wherein we hold around 15% of stake. So I understand that uh, it was in lieu of uh, IP, which was transferred by our parent company to, to innovation communication, which was known earlier. Uh, just wanted to know, this year we have taken a 30% of impairment. So just wanted to know uh, our thought process on this investment, some context about this company. And as well as our strategic and uh, 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 synergistic benefit, which we are anticipating from this company. So that is question one. Uh, second question is with regards to, we have positioned ourselves as a, a low volume high mix manufacturer. So I understand that probably uh, we are targeting, uh, so our, theoretically we, our asset tonne has to be lower and our margins has to be higher. But uh, we are saying that about the in, uh, industry median, we are below that. So and and I uh, the, uh, the one of the reason could be probably uh, lower uh, utilization. But just wanted to know your thought on the industry uh, vis a vis the uh, high volume low mix peers and us. So what could be the asset turn and ROE structure? And the third question is with regards to uh, very uh, I'm, uh, see EMS industry is a nascent industry in India and government is also supporting a lot. So just want, after, uh, our vision for 2030 and beyond and what is the roadblock which we are anticipating or seeing ourselves uh, that could be in the next uh, five six years and we could avoid and capitalize the maximum opportunity presented by both the tailwind and as well as the government support that's it thank you thank you mr deval chairman sir with that we come to end of the session everybody who has registered as a speaker has been provided an opportunity to put forth their perspective I hand it back to the board to continue with the rest of the session, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, moderator. Thank you for uh, facilitating these questions. I want to thank you that my Hindi is Hindi, Hyderabad. That's why I can give you the answers in English. So I will switch back to Hindi, uh, to English, sorry. But I do want to uh, firstly thank a number of our shareholders who are very familiar from the science days, uh, like... Uh, uh, many of them, I, I don't wish to read out all the names, but many of, of you introduced yourselves and you're also very familiar voices uh, for for uh, uh, Mr. Mohan Reddy for 33 years, uh, for me, maybe for the last 20 years. So thank you very much, firstly and foremost, for the trust that you've shown in us and the trust that you continue to show with us, not only being holders and scient for the last um, um, almost uh, 27 years that we've been public, but also now in scient DLM. And what I do want to assure you on behalf of Scient DLM leadership and management is uh, what we're really known for in Scient, that is to, in running a very robust operations, firstly, on a very strong set of values and principles, uh, but secondly, also uh, to make sure that we are on the top of the emerging trends, what our clients need, building capabilities and operations is something we're known for, and that is what we bring to Scient DLM. So firstly, thank you very, very much uh, for the trust that you have shown in us and you continue to, uh, to, to show in us. Um, what I will do is I will answer a few questions uh, that were more from a, from a board level or a, or a general perspective. And then I will uh, request uh, uh, Anthony Montalbano and Srini Kulkarni to answer some specific questions, both in terms of uh, growth prospects um, and um, order book and vision um, uh, from Anthony and from Srini to give you an overview of um, uh, both how uh, how we're using the IPO proceeds, uh, where do we stand vis-a-vis -vis borrowings, and also just a, a, a quick overview of where we stand against uh, competitors. If I may uh, firstly just answer a few questions uh, that, that were from a board perspective. Uh, on dividends, uh, as, as you know, we're a nascent company uh, in, in a very fast growing market. And therefore, we see that the best use of proceeds is, is investing back into the operations, at least for, for, the next few, uh, for the next few years. And that's why the board did not take up the topic of declaring a dividend. As you know, Scient is a robust uh, dividend paying company. Once we got 
got into a steady state. And uh, we hope to follow the same uh, principles within uh, Science DLM. And as things evolve, we will continuously evaluate this and, of course, um, uh, start paying out a dividend when it makes sense. Because today we're seeing significant growth opportunities, which Anthony will also articulate here in a minute. And uh, the cash that we have is best used in uh, growing the business of the company, which I'm sure will is being reflected also in the uh, share price. Um, there was a question on geographic expansion. Our focus right now is to maximize the capacity that we have in these three locations, which is Mysuru, Bengaluru, and uh, a new factory in Hyderabad. Uh, we will continue to um, look at uh, other options, uh, including options outside of India, because our customers also want to de-risk their manufacturing operations across the uh, across the board. And um, uh, um, uh, where, therefore, we continue to look for operation uh, to, for uh, geographic expansion. I would just say we we also need to start uh, fully utilizing some of the capacity that we have before expanding too much into other locations in India, because we also have to be aware of where the cluster is to a question about the government support. The government is also focusing on certain areas for electronic manufacturing. So we just have to make sure we're in the right cluster. Otherwise, we will get into um, challenges, especially with logistics, law, uh, raw material, et cetera. Uh, the point about the company secretary's photo not being included is, is, is well taken, and we will fix that. Uh, I'll also say that uh, we, we continue to uh, work closely with all our shareholders. We will ensure that you get the support. Um, again, this is the first year that Science DLM is um, a publicly traded company. So bear with us if our processes in Science DLM are maybe not as robust to what you're used to in Science. But I can assure you that uh, both um, uh, uh, Kritika and Science DLM, under the guidance of Sudhindra Putti, is working very hard at that. And of course, if you have any suggestions, we will be uh, more than happy to hear. And I'm sure. Uh, uh, Kritika will appreciate hearing them. Um, in terms of uh, the, um, um, there was a comment on buyback being guaranteed in the Scient offering. Um, of course, that is something that a lot of people in, even in the uh, uh, Mumbai markets talk about 27 years later of what uh, uh, the bold move that uh, Mr. Mohan Reddy had made then uh, in terms of assuring shareholder returns and, and having a buyback, which was something that was very unusual. Um, I think the times have changed, the markets have changed. I just want to assure you that um, uh, you know, we will continue to focus on shareholder returns. Uh, we will continue to focus on running robust operations that maximize shareholder return. And uh, of course, since times have changed and contexts have changed, maybe buybacks are not so relevant or guaranteed buybacks sorry, are not so relevant at the time of IPO. But of course, there's other things that we will do to make sure that we deliver on our uh, shareholder um, value. Um, in terms of, um, uh, I just want to state that KFIN has been a great partner to us. So I'm sure there was a question about who gets the first question, et cetera. I'm sure KFIN has a good process. They do this day in and day out for a living. So I'm sure they have a robust process um, on uh, uh, how they, they run the meeting and help us run the meeting. So I want to assure you that they've been a great partner to us and uh, we will continue to make sure we work with them to make sure that your AGM experience is, will be enhanced. And to that point, I also um, um, agree with uh, Abdullah Ali Ji that uh, physical AGMs should come back. So we will plan on that in the next uh, year onwards. We will plan for a physical AGM rather than just a virtual AGM. Of course, this time there were some logistics challenges on where people were, etc. But we will take that into account going forward. Uh, in terms of the last question that I quickly want to address from uh, Mr. Deval Shah on ICS stake, um, to, uh, uh, to give you a quick background, uh, Scient had delivered a product, uh, what's called an SDR or a, um, a communication device, a secure communication device for the Indian um, Armed Forces. Uh, this is a, a, a project that was released about six or seven years ago, uh, where uh, the indigenized version of this product was, was to be developed. Uh, qualified, again, uh, manufactured for the Indian Army to start with. Um, what we realized over a period of time is the um, procurement process for uh, the um, Indian Armed Forces follows a very different timeline to what we're used to. 
and uh, has some very uh, uh, um, uh, or is a very involved process. Um, especially in the Indian Armed Forces context. We didn't have the capability. Uh, and also the other thing we saw is um, it is important to have a portfolio of products, not just one product uh, to be successful in the uh, Indian Army or in the Indian Armed Forces. We didn't have the portfolio of product in place. So we wanted to work with somebody who had a wider portfolio because they have a better reach and therefore they have a better um, understanding of how the market works, they can put more effort into the business development aspects, etc. And therefore, we decided to work with uh, um, with ICS, who have a portfolio of products in the communication space for the uh, for the armed forces, paramilitary forces, etc. Um, unfortunately, the project has been delayed a little bit, um, and uh, that is one of the risks that we were trying to mitigate against when we didn't want to keep this product only in Scient or Scient DLM. Uh, the project has been delayed a little bit. We still have been assured that we are a strong player. I don't want to commit to anything beyond that, that we were a strong player. So we're still quite confident in, in, in uh, our ability to win this business, etc. But um, the prudency required that uh, given that the timelines are, are delayed, the value of the uh, entire project comes down and therefore we had to write down the um, value of ICS in our books. We continue to be committed to this business and we're quite confident that we will do well um, uh, through ICS, uh, both with the product that Scient had developed, but also with the ICS uh, wider portfolio. Uh, with that, I once again will just uh, uh, thank you again for the uh, for the exceptional support you have given us as uh, shareholders. And uh, first, uh, I will um, uh, pass it on to Anthony. Uh, if uh, Anthony, I could request you to address three things: the growth prospect for the business, how the order book looks like, and um, your view on the vision for 2030 and beyond. Anthony, over to you. Great, thank you. And uh, thank you to shareholders and uh, various stakeholders. Um, first, I'll start with the order book. Uh, the order book is currently at about 2,200 cores uh, for the business, and that is execu executable in approximately the next uh, 18 to 24 months. And, um, you know, as we take a look um, at the uh, you know, nature of the business, I think it's, um, I, I think it's important just to highlight that we are still a relatively very small company in terms of the uh, EMS or trans manufacturing services space. So as a company that approaches uh, 150 to 200 million in revenue, uh, really has tremendous uh, runway and potential uh, when you look at uh, the growth uh, prospects in this industry. So, um, and, and, th and this gets into as well into the sectors that we operate. Uh, you know, our focus is in mission and safety critical um, electronics manufacturing services. This includes sectors like air and defense, medical and industrial. And um, these specific sectors are seeing annual growth rates currently uh, averaging in the high 30s to low 40 percent year-on-year growth in these sectors as far as uh, the type of um, work that's coming into um, India specifically. So this creates a, a significant opportunity for uh, the industry and of course for Scient DLM. Uh, we feel that we are uh, very much a, a leader in terms of uh, providing uh, industry-leading uh, quality and our reputation uh, in these sectors. And um, that's what's driven uh, our growth over this uh, past year. And, you know, as we take an, an outlook, uh, you know, we, we, we anticipate uh, very similar growth uh, over the, you know, next several years. Uh, we've um, anticipated anywhere, you know, looking at 30% year-on-year growth as, as maybe a good baseline uh, and maybe even higher as, as we just look at executing on the business. And um, there's been some discussion on um, some of the expansion that we've done uh, in this current year in terms of uh, facilities and capabilities. And this is... Um, this is indicative to the fact that, you know, uh, India will be our core in terms of where we um, will 
provide our, our offerings uh, for the most part. Uh, our clients are very much global. And we will look also at opportunities of providing uh, similar services uh, closer to those and locations. Uh, but again, that is really more to just extend uh, the touch points within our clients. Uh, it allows us to uh, get involved in more uh, complex programs earlier in their life cycle and provides a path um, from their locations to extension and growth that will continue within India, which is the fastest growing segment globally uh, in terms of geo for EMS. And so this is um, th this gives us a you know an outlook not only for the near term but also getting into the vision of you know, 2030 and beyond, right? So we're looking at when we start looking at beyond six years. Um, you know, we see the trends um, from our clients and in the industry. It, it's one aspect to where we provide services at a top level where we will have various parts of the supply cha chain come globally to us. We'll procure, design, manufacture, test, and ship these products um, locally and globally. Uh, but the other thing that's happening is there's also tremendous pressure to uh, source um, the components and go down one level in the supply chain uh, locally within within India. And so this is an important um, aspect of the business as it really shows that it is truly taking a deep rooted hold into the um, overall opportunity, not just from a top level EMS provider, but that this is very much a uh, long-term um, baseline for the industry going forward. This is not a temporary uh, reaction to the recent um, you know, supply chain and global challenges we've had over the last couple of years. Um, you know, this has been a um, a, you know, a scenario that's been developing really uh, over the last one to two decades. And uh, we are now at a position where we are literally quantifying and delivering um, on that vision today. We're at the very early stages of it. And, um, and there's many examples. I mentioned the supply chain. There's also many examples on the design side where we are uh, extremely well positioned, you know, having uh, Scient uh, uh, Limited with uh, 7,000 design engineers available to us, uh, not only gives us a very unique advantage for a company of our size, but also for multi-billion dollar EMS companies uh, would not have that type of capability. They would need to um, you know, partner with a, another uh, design company or simply not be able to do a, a design and manufacturing type program. And so this also creates um, some opportunities for us as not only is the supply chain uh, getting deeper and uh, within India, but so is the opportunity to not only manufacture, but also design manufacture uh, products uh, across, um, you know, really across the sectors we're in and even in beyond. Uh, I'll also wrap up by making a, a comment on um, I think there was one question about um, about the the low volume high mix side of things versus a high volume piece of it in other in other sectors. So uh, you know the high volume sector, which we are currently not engaged in, uh, is also benefiting from very significant growth, uh, similar for the same reasons that I've highlighted. It's impacting our business. And similar things are happening in those sectors as well. You see this uh, with leading companies like, you know, Apple manufacturing cell phones in India for export, and that's driving the supply chain and the whole ecosystem around that. Uh, you know, this is we could look at you know more mid-volume opportunities, which which focus more on uh, the DNA and tenants of what we bring to our clients, which really focus on highly regulated safety and mission critical um, electronics manufacturing services. Uh, these are the higher value services and um, these are, you know, sticky and less price sensitive types of services. And uh, we will continue that focus. And, um, and as we grow, we'll also look at 
uh, sectors that make sense that can complement uh, where we are today. So um, that's, um, I'll pause there because I think I've hit most of the points and uh, uh, look forward to the next part of the uh, agenda. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anthony. And uh, if I may just on behalf of the board and the shareholders say that uh, Anthony has provided extraordinary leadership to this business in the last uh, 12 months. Um, as you've seen the numbers, uh, they are a reflection of what we are set to achieve. But what gives me more confidence is what lies ahead of us. And uh, the, the um, platform that Anthony and the leadership team have built to really deliver. So th thank you very much, Anthony, for the leadership and, and look forward to the many, many more successful years to come on behalf of the shareholders. Um, with that, um, if I may turn the uh, uh, session on to uh, Mr. Srini Kulkarni, the Chief Financial Officer of uh, Sign DLM, to address uh, two things. One is uh, the borrowings and where do we stand with that, uh, the use of proceeds, and perhaps to also give us a quick overview of where we stand vis-a-vis -vis competition, both on margins and return on uh, equity numbers. Sure, Krishna. Thank you. Uh, greetings to all, everyone and all, all our shareholders. Uh, uh, from the perspective of the utilization of funds of the IPO, I think we are, uh, we did an IPO for 700 crores uh, and upcoming the IPO expenses, we are left with about 660 crores. What we have utilized up to 31st March is about 242 crores, uh, which uh, leaves uh, the remaining 418 crores to us for uh, consumption in future. There are specific uh, areas earmarked, uh, one of that is working capital requirement uh, and 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 so the, so the large part of the utilization that happened last year was to clear the external debt we had on our books, which was about 160 crores. What we have as borrowing on 31st March is about 130 crores. Is all, those are related party loans from the parent company, Science Limited. And we have a schedule of payment that is agreed between both the companies. That will get paid out as per the schedule agreed. Um, the... There will be uh, uh, time to time, I think we will take uh, loans to fund the working capital. Uh, that there will be a timing gap between our collections and our uh, you know, payments to suppliers to manage that. We will, we will be taking that loan. But uh, I want to assure everybody that the utilization of funds will be exactly in line with the objects that were specified in the red herring prospectus at the time of the IPO. Um, with respect to the, uh, the competition on margins, etc., we... Uh, have consciously uh, operated a little bit below uh, the, the pot true potential that we have. That's because of the significant investment that we have made in uh, SG and Day. Uh, I think our potential to grow from where we are today is very high. And for that, we have invested ahead of time. Uh, but we are quite uh, uh, conscious about where we operate in terms of our margin. Our intent is to increase the margin from our current levels. And we are working towards it. The mix of the business has a big bearing on the margins as well, and we are uh, uh, we track the, this very closely to make sure that we are we remain competitive in the in the market space. The return on uh, uh, capital employed or equity will uh, show an increasing trend. Right now, I think because there is excess cash because of the IPO, these numbers show less. And as one of the I think Mr. Deval Shah also pointed out, I think the utilization is quite low currently because there is excess capacity. But as we start building this up. And, and filling the fact more orders, which is the, the order book and visibility that we have, we will see improved ROC and ROE numbers. We we uh, we have a target to uh, take it to a high uh, in the twenties in, in in about three years time. Was there anything else, uh, Krishna, that you wanted to cover? Your line is on mute. Uh, thank you, Shini. Uh, sorry, I had a little of a tech hiccup. But uh, also, I, I will uh, take the opportunity again on behalf of the board to uh, say that uh, we're very fortunate to have a CFO like uh, Srinivas Kulkarni for this business uh, with great uh, authority comes great responsibility. Uh, the shareholders have vested a lot of money with us. And I can assure you that Srini is a hawk when it comes to making sure that we spend that money in the most prudent manner. Uh, by 
keeping to the commitments that we've made on what we will use the money, but also more importantly, maximizing the return in the in the most sort of uh, values driven manner for for the investments that that we are making. Um, also, Shini has been a great support to how the business can grow by being a pragmatic CFO. And uh, Shini, on behalf of the board and the shareholders, thank you very much for for the work that we've done in the last year and, and look forward to this continuing for many, many more years so we can deliver great returns to our shareholders. Thank you. Thank you. With that, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the business part of the meeting. Uh, if I may just again share, it's been an overwhelming experience for me to see so many friends and well-wishers who have been shareholders in Scient and now in Scient DLM for, in some cases, for 27 years. Um, I want to reassure you, reiterate and reassure you that we take our commitments very, very seriously. We've built a great reputation and a great business in, in Scient, and we're blessed that uh, the platform that Mr. Mohan Reddy has created from Scient has really translated to Scient DLM, and we're only building off of this platform. So I can assure you that we have a great future ahead, both in terms of the business, but more importantly, in how we conduct the business in a values-driven fashion along the framework of values first. Thank you very much for that support, and I assure you that we will only beat your expectations and not just meet your expectations going forward. As I already stated, the Instapoll facility is active and the members who have not cast their votes may vote for up to 30 minutes after the conclusion of this meeting. This facility is available on the left-hand corner of the video conferencing screen in form of a thumbs or thumb sign. Uh, members can click on the same to take them to the Insta page, Insta poll page and vote. Mr. Marish Kumar, the scrutineer, will submit a report to the company after consolidating the remote e-voting and voting at the AGM. As there is no other business to be transacted, I declare the meeting as closed. I want to thank you for your cooperation in ensuring the smooth conduct of this meeting. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you, Krishna. Thanks to all of you. Thank you. Thank you.